everybody, this is Caitlin here and welcome to a very special video for you all today. Today we are going to be, drumroll please, da -da 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 if you can't really see it down there because I need to lift it up to show the camera, but we have this massive box that came in the mail today and I am very, very excited to open up this box. It's just like, I can't wait. It's just like, look at it compared to me. It's just like absolutely massive. I can't wait. So we're going to open this up and you've probably already guessed what is in this box by the title of the video, but I am very excited to open this up and show you guys the details of what is in this box. And I can't stop stopping the tapping on the box because I just, ah, oh, it's so good, I can't wait. Okay, so, got my scissors this time. Hopefully this time, it will not take me too long to open this up like the last time I got some kind of package and I was struggling to open up and yada 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 because that ain't good. You're trying to rip it open with like your bare hands, it's just, it, it's not very good. So, I'm going to try and get this, hopefully um, I can don't damage what's inside. Because uh, I don't want to hurt what's inside. Oh, here we go. I'll just... I don't know. Oh here we go. I need to use more scissors. I actually, uh, once I open this up, I'll tell you guys exactly where I got this item from. Because I feel like a lot of you guys will be hella interested in where I got this. So, I'm going to open it up here. And... Oh, out the box. Okay. Get the box out of the way. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready to see this? Massive floof! Oh god, so much floof! Look at this floof! Oh my god, this floof is just amazing! Oh my god! Get out the box! Oh my god! Okay. Time out. Let's, let's control ourselves. Look at the size of this plush! Oh my goodness! It's like, I can't even fit the whole thing on the camera. This is actually, I think, the biggest evolution plush I have ever gotten. This is just like insane. It's actually massive. Like, um, this is actually insane. I'm actually going to show you something else because um, I was going to do two separate videos, but then um, the, the way that the timing worked out, whatever, two of these items that I ordered are, came, were basically released roughly the same time. So I got them together. So I will just, for comparison, I will show you guys. So. This is the Sleeping Eevee plush, which came out at the Japanese Pokemon Centers about two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I believe. Basically, all the evolutions they did, all with like sleeping poses and whatnot and sleeping expressions. I ordered this um, from Sunny Shore Pokemon, or is it, I think it's Sunny Shore Poke Center, which um, I'll have a link in the description down below because these guys are actually very awesome. They're really good at trying to get you um, Japanese exclusive or Pokemon Center exclusive items from overseas and whatnot and get them shipped to the UK. It's pretty awesome. Normally you don't have to pay too much posters or whatever, but because obviously this plush is quite big, I had to um, pay a bit extra airmail uh, postage and whatnot, which is fine considering it is a very large plush. So you can imagine that, you know, they'd have to get a big box and whatnot, but it's actually awesome. But at the same time, I also ordered, um, I don't know if you can see here because it is tiny compared to this massive sleeping Eevee plush. I ordered the Halloween Eevee uh, keychain because um, if you remember last, I think it was last year or the year before, I got the Halloween plush Eevee, which was based on like a little Halloween pirate and whatnot. Sadly, Eevee didn't get a full on plush this year. He just got a keychain because I think Mimikyu and Beware and Pikachu got the main mascot plushes, but they still made a kind of like um, keychain plush of it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get the keychain plush. So this is the Eevee, like in this Eevee in comparison to me, it's quite small. It is a lot smaller than the one uh, that we got last year. Let's pick up this massive Eevee and compare it to the little, look at it, it is just so, so small compared to this big massive one. It is actually so big, I don't actually think it will fit on where my little like Eevee collection is. So I might actually just have to have this Eevee sitting on my bed and whatnot because honestly, it like you can see my like, if I can point my finger in the right way, maybe down, yeah, down there is where I normally keep all my evolution plushes. I don't think this plush is actually going to fit because it's that massive, like, compared to the rest of them. I definitely think this is the biggest Evolution plush I have ever bought. Recently, they also released images of, I believe it was life-size Evolutions in, like, sink positions, and they look huge. Like, when I imagine Evolutions, I imagine them to be, like, the size of, like, my dog, which is, like, a little terrier thing. So I don't imagine them to be very big, but these, like, life-size ones were, like, pretty massive, and they were costing about 200 odd dollars or whatever, so I'm assuming they're very big, and they're obviously... Very plushy, but um, I decided to get one of these because it is just 
so adorable. It's just sleeping. It's got little floppy ears. It's so cute. The tail is flopping about. It's also got a tag under here, which you can't really see too well because it's underneath his book. But I'll try and show you it here just so you can see it. There you go. It's got like the little sleeping Eevee. It's so adorable. I love it. It's just Oh, it's so cute. It's so squishy. I also love the little keychain uh, Halloween Eevee here. It's wearing a little top hat. It's got like a little, um, well, I can't see it because of the tag at the back here. It's got like an Umbreon themed like cloak slash cape with like little rings and that. He's wearing a little kind of ribbon with a little like neckerchief and stuff. So it's really cute. It is really cute. Although he's too cute to probably go in my bag or whatever. I, I would be afraid that he'd get rained on or something like that. So I'm going to try and just like ding him off the little keychain there. So there we go. We can dangle him a bit better. So yeah, I think they're both really cute, guys. I mean, I'm just, I'm so excited because I've literally been hope, like, as soon as I saw the pictures of these guys, I was just like, I need to get one. And I knew that I could probably only afford one because I literally, I could not afford the whole set. Can you imagine? We have like, what, seven? Do we have seven Eevee? It's like Eevee, Vaporeon, Flareon, Jolteon, Espeon, Umbreon, Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon. We have like nine Eevee Lucians and whatnot. There's no way I could afford the whole set. So... Sadly, I could only get one, and since Eevee is my OG, one of my favourite, like, literally my favourite Pokemon of all time, I had to get Eevee. Eevee was just an absolute must. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't say no to this. Look, at it. it's so, it's just so comfortable. And can I set it on my shoulder? I don't know if I can, because it's, like, massive. But I'll try and set it on my shoulder for the effect of the video. No, he doesn't want to sit on my shoulder. Actually, you can sit here. Eevee, you can, you can just, you can just chill here. Look how... Look how adorable it's little sleeping faces. It's just so and then for a comparison, we'll just have this Eevee sitting on this shoulder. And it is the smallest of all. It's probably like my size. This Eevee is like me. It's my spirit Pokemon. It is just so tiny, so fluffy and cute compared. Look, they're just they're adorable. I'm like freaking out or whatever. And you guys are probably thinking, why are you going all crazy over plushes? But literally, plushes, I adore plushes, especially Pokemon plushes. Pokemon plushes are like an obsession with me. And it's like, I know I will never ever be able to own like all the Evolution plushes because they have so many iterations. Some of them are like extremely rare to find. Like some of them are worth like maybe upwards of like 100 to 200 pounds and whatnot. Some of them are really, really hard to find and really, really rare because some of them were like limited runs or some of them were just like exclusive to Pokemon centers. But in this day and age, we have a better chance. Like I know I'm, I'm like, I would love to go to Japan one day and literally just buy something from a Pokemon center and not have to worry about like airmail and trying to get it online and whatnot. That is my dream is to try and one day go to Japan and visit one of the Pokemon centers. It's like a lifelong ambition, a lifelong ambition of mine. And um, maybe in the future, if I can save up for it, but literally, um, thanks to the internet, I've managed to like get a couple of the you know, Pokemon Center exclusive plushes and whatnot. So that makes me really, really happy. And I'm so super happy to get this plush. Um, and also really, oops, I nearly dropped it there. It nearly went flying, no Eevee. And I'm also very happy to pick up this Halloween one, which um, I am sad that this one didn't get like a full on plush version. But the keychain is pretty cute. And normally I would like remove the tags and whatnot from like, especially if like they're really annoying tags because this is a Halloween one and whatnot and this is like the exclusive sleeping one. I'm going to try and keep the tags on them because um, I think it kind of helps them with their value and whatnot. I don't know if it's on the little label. No, it says Pokemon Center um, on like the side of it. So you know it's definitely from the Pokemon Center in Japan and whatnot. So, and then you can look here, it's got little, little paw pads on this little paws. It's so cute. Um, I'm like fangirling now. I just, I can't help myself. I'm just like, these Eevees are so adorable. Look at it. It's just like, it takes up the whole frame of it. It's just like, oh, also I forgot to say about my haircut. I I completely forgot. You're probably not realizing why is our hair so short and why is it so pink? I'm actually getting a haircut uh, in between the time that um, I recorded my last video. But yes, very, 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 very happy with this purchase. So if you guys are interested in checking out Sunny Shore, be sure to check the description below. I'll have a link to their website. You can check all the stuff they have in stock. They are also very good. If you check out their, follow their Twitter as well, they are always updating news of what content is coming out from Japan Pokemon centers, things that are coming out, exclusive and everything. They put up their pre-orders and things and they're very good communicating about what they'll be able to get in stock and what they'll be selling. Whatnot. They, also do, they also do other stuff. So not just Pokemon stuff. They have like a couple like, exclusive anime stuff. I've seen like, they have stuff from I think Yuri and Ice and I think Free was there at one point. They have like a variety of like things, not just Pokemon stuff, but you know, if you're into Pokemon, just like me, then yes, this will be the video for you and this will be the site for you to check out all that exclusive Pokemon merch. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like or comment if you love Eevees just as much as me, or if there's a Pokemon plush that you wish you could have, that you just crave for, that you wish that you could just hug and snuggle and just love all so much like this little Eevee here let me know in the comments down below guys because 
honestly we all just need a real life why can't pokemon be real i wish pokemon were real sometimes like you know if i had an eevee that would be my pokemon of choice it would just be my partner forever and ever so until next time guys me and eevee we'll see you all later bye bye